scientists, I'm Ariela from the California Science Center, here to remind you that science doesn't happen in black and white. Scientists and engineers use their drawings to show what they know, so in today's video we're going to be drawing a picture together. This is what you'll need. A piece of paper, pencil, and any black marker. I'll give you a moment to get what you need. Here are some quick tips before getting started. Okay scientists, there are two ways you can do this video. Your first option is to do it on your own. If you're feeling pretty confident with your drawing skills, you can watch this video and draw and make your own coloring page. The other option is to ask help from an adult. Anyone who's hanging out at home can help. As you watch the video together, see how the drawing unfolds and you get to color at the end. Our drawings will be on our website every Friday. A great way to keep your drawings organized like a scientist or engineer is to start your own science notebook. This is a great place to keep all your drawings, new ideas from what you're learning, and questions you might have. I'll be using a pen, but for new scientists you should probably start with a pencil just in case you make a mistake. The play button will be here as I draw and talk. Of course, there'll be times to pause, and I will switch it here so that you can hit pause on your screen. Ready to start! Okay, scientists, so this week's theme has been Big Lab Scientists, so I thought we would do a Big Lab Playground. Let's start off by drawing a swing set. Start by drawing the letter V upside down. Attach a line, and then another upside down V. I know a playground might not seem like a big lab, but there are so many types of scientists that would love to explore here. Actually, this swing set reminds me of the Falling with Forces activity, where you created a bungee, like an engineer would. Now, these swings aren't exactly like a bungee, but gravity does help get you moving. Another feature at a playground that relies on gravity is a slide. I know a slide just seems like a fun thing to play on, but what kind of scientist would be interested in a slide? Oh, I know! A physicist! They might experiment with how fast or slow different people go down. Maybe that's something you can test next time you're at a playground. Let's bring our attention to the foreground. That means the part of the picture that's closer to you. See here? We're drawing a sandbox. What kind of scientist would be interested in this place? Had enough time to think about it? I think maybe a geologist would want to come and explore here. What kind of tools would a geologist want to use? Well, in this case, Maybe they'll need a bucket to put all of their findings. I think they may also need something to excavate with. So let's draw a small shovel. I'm drawing this squiggly line here to show that the shovel is inside the sand. There are a lot of living things on the playground, like this tree. What kind of scientists would be interested in studying these things? Well, a biologist would. They might look to see what kinds of living things are in this tree, like this little bird we're gonna draw. A biologist might wonder, if this bird is native to this region, or what it might eat. A biologist might also notice the nest it created. As the biologist studies the tree, they might start to notice the bark of the tree. 
As they look closely, they might notice patterns the bark will make. Or even creatures living on the tree. We've created a great picture with a foreground and a midground, so let's fill in the background. Biologists aren't the only ones studying the playground. Botanists are scientists that study plants. They might come to the playground and notice the trees. They may also study flowers that they find around the playground. They may even study the grass. They might notice the same kind of grass around the tree, our swing set, and in the field. They might compare the different kinds of flowers and notice how some flowers grow in different areas. Meteorologists can also come to our big lab playground to notice the weather. They may notice the warmth of the sun, but also notice clouds. They may also feel a gust of wind and notice how the clouds get closer because of the wind. The last feature in our playground is a fountain. If you've been following along this week, you made boats and an engineer might come to test their boats out here. Well, scientists, we've created our big lab playground. Don't forget to add color because science doesn't happen in black and white. It was fun drawing with you scientists today. Hope you're feeling a little less stuck at home. See you next time. Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck at home science activities.